So we can add or change the color of front panel objects front panel paints and block diagram workspaces Some objects have a foreground and a background that we can color separately. For example, the foreground color of a knob on the classic numeric palette is the color of the main dial area. And the background color is the color of the raised edge. And we can then change these. We can create custom colors copy colors from one object to another and create transparent objects. So let's see how we can change the color of an object, the front panel background or background of the block diagram workspace. We can use the coloring tool to right click an object or workspace to display the color picker. If automatic tool selection is enabled, selecting the color picker from the tools palette disables automatic tool selection. We can press the shift key and right click to display a temporary version of the tools palette at the location of the cursor shift right click temporary tools palette the top of the color picker contains a gray scale spectrum and a box we can use to create transparent objects
The second spectrum contains muted colors that are well suited to background and front panel objects. The third spectrum contains colors that are well suited to highlight The first row of color boxes displays user-defined colors 3D object, control background, indicator color, 3D active objects, text, LED on, LED off, thermometer fill, slide fill, slide housing, tank fill, tank housing, classic object, classic slide thumb, ref number, template comment and two undefined ones. Let me show you where these colors are coming from. So go to tools menu and then options and then go to environment and then scroll down to colors. Here you will find more colors for default, we have front panel colors, block diagram, quotient dots, scroll bars, blink foreground, blink background, menu text, and menu background. We can disable this and then we can select the color that we want. And the custom colors are coming from this part. There are 18 here, 16 are by def uh, defined by default. We can then choose whatever we want and then give it a name. The second row of color boxes displays the most recently selected colors. The history colors. And the system colors. System colors allows us to set the appearance of a front panel to match the system colors of any computer that runs a VI. The system colors are three pairs of colors each containing a background color and a text color. There are colors for panel and object, window and highlights for items like menus. Panel and object, panel and object text, window, window text, highlight, highlight text. The box at the bottom of the color picker displays the currently selected color. Objects that have foreground and background colors display the foreground color in the Uh, objects that have foreground and background color display the foreground color in the left half of this box and the background color in the right half. We can move the cursor through the color picker to select a color and preview the object or the background in the selected color. As we move cursor over a color LabVIEW displays the RGB value of the color at the bottom of the color picker. If the object has foreground and background colors, we can press the the F key to select the foreground color 
and the B key to select the background color so we can set it. We can also press the space bar to toggle between foreground and background colors. We can click the more colors button in the bottom right corner of the color picker to select a specific color using the color utility on the operating system. We can click a color to apply that color to the object or background. To cancel the coloring operation, we can press the escape key.